Hey guys, Mike Bills here with Measurable Solutions, and I wanted to just touch base with you real quick, give you a couple of thoughts for the day, things to think about. So just the power of staying positive throughout the course of this whole crisis, all of this COVID-19 coronavirus stuff that's going on, and just think about how powerful as private practice and business owners, and even just as, as physical therapists we are, how powerful we are, and how much positivity we can pass on to other people. So, you know, I think about, I had conversation with three patients yesterday, and just watching those patients coming into the office, because we're still open, watching those patients coming into the office, and basically, having a conversation with them and finding out how things were going for them, those four patients all originated to me how thankful they were for the fact that we were still open. It's a breath of fresh air for them to come in. It's an environment they feel safe being in. It's a place they enjoy coming to. I had all four of them ask if they could just stay longer and just stay and chat because it's such a positive um, uplifting environment compared to everything that they're experiencing out in the rest of the world. So just how can you portray and be that positive image, that positive person that's going to help people to feel better, bring people up tone and just get people starting to look at the fact that, okay, there is this bad thing going on, but what can we do that will help us to help our communities be in a better place? How can you do that? Well, let's say you've closed. You can still stay in contact with your patients, pull up your EMR, pull up phone numbers, start making phone calls, have your staff make phone calls from home, have your staff and you send emails to people, send out a positive thought for the day. We have a, um, I, I borrowed the idea from another clinic owner. We have a question that we're asking patients when they come in and it'll be, what's your favorite candy? Uh, peanut M&Ms or regular M&Ms? And we just, the whole concept is get people's minds off of all of this stuff that's going on out there. And as people that interact, physical therapists, as we interact with patients all day long and our staff all day long, how can we help them to be in a better situation mentally so that they don't get brought down tone by all of these things that are going on? And just brainstorm and just come up with things, but it's just be that breath of fresh air, be that positive person. We have a, a policy right now in our office that when you're coming in to be treated as a staff member, I'm not going to discuss with you all of this COVID-19 stuff that's going on. And so what I've done is I've worked with my staff so that when a patient brings it up, yes, they'll acknowledge that. They'll, yeah, I know it's, it's pretty horrible what's going on, but they have something that they shift the conversation right to. And before you know it, boom, that conversation is onto something much more positive and onto something much better. Whether it's the fact that the, the tulips are blooming, the daffodils are coming up, or the fact that it's supposed to rain this weekend or whatever it might be, just talking about things that don't involve all of the COVID-19 stuff that's going on. It creates an environment that patients want to come to, both now and a couple of weeks from now when this is all over. And it also creates an environment where people want to continue to communicate with us. So again, whether you're open or you're closed, just be that voice of positiveness to your patients, to your community. How can you be putting blogs on social media right now that are more positive in nature about, hey, here's some fun activities you can do with your family this weekend, as opposed to some other uh, article about you know, COVID-19 or whatever it might be. Can you send out an email blast to everybody on your email list about how to stay healthy when you're working from home? Those are all positive things given the situation and the environment that we're in. So I'd love to see if anybody that's on has any thoughts about that as well or any questions, but just again, as the president of Measurable Solutions, my job, my role is to help you guys to navigate through this chaos and this, this epidemic, this pandemic that's going on right now. But more importantly, as a fellow practice owner, experiencing the exact same things that you guys are experiencing, give you some ideas of things that we're doing that are being very successful for us and, and allowing us to help our patients and, and give them a better environment to come into, an environment to communicate with, et cetera. So again, just keep that positiveness about you. You're a community leader. You are an essential healthcare worker. Keep that positiveness about you and help to bring people up. And before you know it, we'll all start thinking differently. If we all change our minds, we'll all start thinking differently. And when we do, we'll come out of this a lot quicker. If we're like, yeah, this is a horrible thing. It's going to take us months and months. And gosh, if I listen to the news till December for this to really be over, 
That's what's going to happen. What, your mind is a powerful thing, and what you say is going to happen is what's going to happen. But if you keep talking about this is going to be a short-lived thing, here's some positive things, etc., and you use this time to take positive actions for yourself as an individual, for your family, for your business, etc., you'll come out of this, A, a lot quicker, and B, in a lot better situation. So good luck to you guys. I'm happy to discuss anything with anybody. Feel free to private message me, and we can, we can discuss it, or we can even get on the phone and chat as well, because again, as Measurable Solutions, our purpose is to help private practice owners navigate this whole thing that's going on and really come out of it and be successful on the other end. So thanks for watching, and, um, and I hope to hear from you soon. Good health to you and prosperity and flourish over the course of not only the coming days, but the coming weeks, months, and years as well. Take care.